Hey, good afternoon, folks. What's going on today? Me and Chris out here at Big Al's. We're just getting a little hungry. We're going to have a little lunch today. He's going to chop up some peppers and onions and uh, got some Cubanelle peppers and Baudet onions. And uh, I got uh, I got this alligator sausage. <laughs> you know, we're going to eat us some alligator sausage sandwiches today. So uh, he's going to get this stuff sliced up. I'm going to open up this sausage, and we're going to throw it on that Blackstone, get this baby to cook it. Chris got these uh, onions already cut up good, and uh, he's working on these peppers now. So uh, let me show you this sausage. I opened the pack. All I done was open the pack, and it smells so good. This this crazy, crazy good sausage. And you mix it with them onions and uh, Cubanelle peppers, get you some of this. So uh, I'm going to throw this down on this old black stone over here. Let me turn this around a little bit. We got this baby preheated, and you can hear that sizzle. All right, got that going. Finishing up these peppers. We cooking with gas, folks. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil down, and uh, we'll start sweating these peppers and onions. Yeah, them peppers and onions, they not cooked either. They just sliced up. They, they ain't smelling good. So uh, we'll get these going. Let them cook a little while. We'll come back and uh, give you a little update of what's going down. We got all these sausage and uh, peppers. And onion on there. I'm going to put a little bit of kosher salt on it. Got to season them onion and them pepper. A little bit of Johnny seasoning. What I'm gonna do now, squirt a little water on here, let it steam, So we're gonna shut the lid, that'll help it cook. We're getting close, these uh, peppers and onions, they are done. I went ahead and just cut the heat off on that. And uh, this sausage looking pretty good too. Getting some good color on that sausage. So uh, we'll turn it one more time. Let it go a few more minutes. We'll be eating here just uh, just a little bit. I went ahead and flip those sausage down the middle. Get a little brown on the inside. About 45 seconds. We're going to be eating. All that sausage pepper done. I'm going to grill us a couple pieces of bread here. Put a little olive oil. A little bit of olive oil down on this blackstone griddle. Put it on there. Let's let it brown up a little bit, and we'll get it turned. Go ahead and cut these sausages in half. So get those plated up. Set them off to the side. Check these buns. They brown up here just a second. We got that bun browned up. We'll hold it up just a little bit. I like mustard on mine. We bite at the end of that jar. Y'all hear it making that noise. Ooh, it smells so good. Let me slap me a piece of sausage in the middle of that. Grab me up a few peppers and onions. My goodness, it's going to be so good. There you have it. Check this out. Ooh, it's falling apart. But that's it right there, y'all. Let's go to the table. I'll move out of the way and let Chris get over here and fix him one. Since I made my sandwich first. Mine's had a chance to cool. Chris made his second. And I can see his still steaming, so that means I can go ahead and I can get started on this. That ain't gonna slow me down, though. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Talk about it. I'm talking, I can't eat. I heard that. Let me tell y'all something. I don't know what the deal is. It seems like every time I come out here, 
Go cook a little something. Day some construction or something going on. There's dogs barking. Somebody got a lawnmower running. Got a guy down the street having some trees took out. Stuff uh, that was damaged from that uh, Hurricane Michael. Y'all remember that Hurricane Michael? Well, there's folks still trying to recover from that. And uh, we got ours finished up a couple weeks ago. We had Harper Tree Service come out and take care of all our our needs and the Albany Chain Gang. They showed up first and, and did did a tremendous amount of work also. But my neighbor down there, he's got some kind of, got a crew down there and uh, they've been going at it. You look, <clears throat> excuse me, you can look down, I'm looking down there at his house and I can tell a huge difference. It's, it looks different. There's uh, fallen trees and, and uh, trees with the tops hanging in them, all that's gone. So, uh, like I say, you hear noise. There's, there's always noise. Luckily, the dogs aren't barking. Here's alligator sausage ain't making no noise neither. <laughs> I mean, you know, you, you go out and buy sausage. And then there's all kinds of flavors and taste and fresh, smoked, patty. You know, this this uh, alligator sausage, it's got a taste like I've never had before. And I've cooked this numerous times. You've seen the videos. I've done videos on this alligator sausage. And, and I, I'm probably repeating myself. But I tell you what, Jack, this will make you leave home. Mmm. And run down to have the store and get some more sausage. <laughs> Watch this. Y'all know what that means, don't you? I'm gonna go back over here. Get me a nerd. Already got the buns on there. Uh, grilling up, and get them toasted. Stick around for just another minute. We're gonna do this one more time. Part deuce, something like that. Like I said, one more time. Hmm. It's still hot too, y'all. And that skid steer down the street there, they, it's still hot too. They running that baby. All that background noise, I'm sure, is going to show up. So what do you think about all this sausage, brother? Man, that's great. Well, peppers and onions, I mean, they just send it over the top. That's right, and peppers and onion. Most people, and, and I've probably said it before, most people, you know, when they do peppers and onions, they'll get bell pepper, you know. Red, green, orange bell pepper, you know, whatever. tell you right now you ain't never had a pepper till you buy one of those Cuban ales I'm talking with my mouth full y'all have to bear with me those Cuban ales ain't nothing like no bell pepper the flavor is, is, is something else you eat a Cuban ale you will never eat another bell pepper so peppers and onions bell pepper Ain't the, ain't the way to go. Get you a Cuban ale. Hey, look, I want to thank y'all for sticking with us today. Watching us cook this uh, sausage and onion and stuff. It was so good. But we got a gift from here, y'all. We got to go see a man about a horse or a dog. Or, we got to go see a man anyway. So, uh, till next time, y'all remember, like and share my page. And uh, y'all have a nice day out there. Bon appetit. Cheers.